said, you're in my seat. And um, so then basically I was like, okay. So I went to get up. She's like, no, you can stay here. And I'm like, great. <laughs> so my mind How went from preparing are you, are you for a Tyler Zeller uh, interview to – I'm sitting next to Chloe Kardashian. Holy, what are you? Are were you fan? How how? What would you put your <laughs> level of fangirling? Um, I would say a ten. A it ten. was a ten out of ten. Okay. Really? So yeah. Do I fangirl over you guys? Not at all. You fangirled <laughs> over Tim Duncan. <laughs> I did fangirl over Tim. Oh Duncan. man. Many people would fangirl over Tim Duncan. Are you kidding? I I, I do. You did. I do. I okay. Now nah, we're cool. So <laughs> long nah. story short, I asked. <laughs> I was so that girl, and I asked for a picture. Go check out my Instagram, al.clisson. That was it. Oh, plug it. Free plug. plug. Free plug. And uh, plug. so I asked for a photo, and then I said, thank you. See you later. I go to do my walk-off interview. And for those who watch on Fox Sports Ohio, I obviously tag the interview with something quick, 10 seconds, gets a break. I always end with Cavs leading so-and-so at the half. Well, my questions were great. Here we go to break. Blah, 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 blah. Cavs lead the Bucks at the break. I'm like, Okay, right? It was great. I was like, I am on target. Brent, my producer in my ear, says, Allie, great interview. However, we're playing the Clippers, not the Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, True. but I just saw Chloe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No. I'm okay, sorry. I've never told Tristan that. Uh, we were going well, to get to knows. it. Now he knows. <laughs> I, but I don't think anybody, no one's listening. No yeah. one's paying attention. Our so nine fans. I think Our half a, maybe like Westlake and Britton Hall. Yeah, Westlake. Britton Hall. <laughs> Bratton Hall. Uh, uh, Brat what? How do you say it? Britton Bratton Hall. Bratton Hall? Bratton why, is everyone, why is everyone yelling at us? I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know these places or these cities or how no, this works. I don't, know so. these, I don't know these things. Half of Avon Lake, I know that. Oh, jeez. Lake Wood? Hey, can we? <laughs> Sorry, hey. my bad. I'm naming West places Lake? I dropped. Can I, can I <laughs> What's up, dog? Can I bring your fat head in? <laughs> no, man. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Okay. Come on. okay who's got a Channing fat head? So, so it's oh, so funny. Oh, man. Um, so this fat head, right? Chang looks at the fat head. He goes, "This is old. <laughs> this is old, man." First and of I all, and I was like, "I was like, Channing, how do you know your fat head is old? Because if you go right to the middle, right I had a there, dead tooth last there, year. there was a dead tooth in Channing's." <laughs> First of all, I was I was down there in the trenches. Well, no, Channing, no. Whatever down, happened? Let me how did you? Yeah. Listen. Explain so the what story happened was I was in the trenches. Tell us. Getting boards, getting them bang outs, okay? bang outs. <laughs> Boom, being physical, doing physical things, okay? Boom, somebody boops my tooth and it knocks it back like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yes, ooh is right. Now, manly story. The <laughs> trainer goes, Channing, we can either move it back, you can keep playing, we'll give you like a mouthpiece, which you should have been wearing in the first place, or we can like remove your tooth and then we got to put a new tooth. I was like, yo. Just move it back. <laughs> I want to go back in You're the game. You're a tough guy. Tough guy. Tough guy. Tough as hell. Hey, listen. So, <laughs> my tooth is like this. The guy grabs my tooth and bends it and crunches it back. Ooh. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what his Let's breath go. smells like. Oh, man. <laughs> Dead tooth. Delicious. Delicious. Very minty. I use, <laughs> I use, I use nice mouth, mouthwash. Get it from Whole Foods. It's expensive. <laughs> True. Are you, you like, wait, are you like Richard and you only plant your house? Two miles from Whole Foods. Oh, yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, yeah. I've I've traveled. Whole Foods people teams, know me places. by name by now. Well, probably because I'm seven foot. I right. try and go to the hot bar right before they close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so okay. The funny thing. Keep going. I'm sorry. So no, no, it's okay. So anyways, the tooth was like okay for a year or two, and then I was in Orlando where no, it was like purgatory for most NBA players. Okay. And then I came here, and. I literally no, was on a jumbotron. No, yeah, I was yeah. on a jumbotron. So, so the jumbotron, right? the jumbotron. And I'm in the middle of a game, and everyone's like, ooh, Channing, what's up with your tooth? <laughs> and, I'm right, and I'm like, I'm like, what? Do I have something in my teeth? Like, what's up? So, yeah, no, the, this was the championship this. year. You know, we last weren't year. We, last year. We weren't exactly focused, everyone. <laughs> and we looked up in the middle of a timeout. and we last saw. Year? Yeah, it was last season. And we saw Channing. And Channing was, like, giving an interview. Yeah, yeah, he's smiling. Smiling all big, <laughs> right? And there's just like white, 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 yellow, white, white, white. And we're like, damn, HD is not good to you, Channing. No. And so from that spot. I would say gold. Gold. It was, gold. Wine, it was wine and gold. That's it was how my we got lucky it. tooth. Yeah, so that's his lucky tooth. And I had then, it replaced. And then, oh, he, I have the picture. So you sent me the picture, right? Yeah. I was like, Channing, I'm going to post this. And you're like, Richard, please don't post this. Don't post that. Like, no, no, because they had to <laughs> shave the tooth out, and then they put a, I think it's a crown or something on top. It's called a veneer. Okay. You have okay. a veneer? I think so. Richard. And then I'm getting another right. one. Oh, you have veneers too, big I do. fella. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of this. Okay, cool. Then we're all 
Fake what? teeth people. Yeah. Just fake, fake toothies. <laughs> fake toothies? Yeah. How's that work? It's like our, our gang, fake toothies. No, we don't have a gang. We don't have a gang. <laughs> We're not. We don't associate with gangs or people that associate with Should gangs. Should we be a, a dance game? You're from Chandler, game? Arizona. Can we be I'm a from dance Glendale, game? Arizona. Can, Can you we be, be a, a dance game? Like, yeah. a, like a break dance? Yeah. Like, <laughs> We're going to be a break dance crew. There we go. Shout out to the screen I've team. I've always wanted to be a part yeah. of a break dance crew. You are? Really? Let me see your moves. I don't have any. <laughs> and I'll We're get too sweaty. Get so the dude okay. another drink. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another latte? Another no, latte. Okay. So I just want that. That's just the funny story I saw with his yellow tooth there. So you guys had that. If you guys could take a marker and kind of play speaking with that. Of, feel like speaking of um, that, everyone always asks about your tattoos. Ooh. Yeah. But I don't know if anyone has ever seen that tattoo. Which Ooh. one? So I have a tattoo Ooh. that they probably won't be able to zoom in on, but I have a tattoo that says stop uh, <laughs> on my hand right there. It's like a stop sign. And everyone kind of randomly, it, there's a random stop sign. And I always thought it was funny just because I have an, an awkward sense of humor. The idea was that it was supposed to tell me to stop when I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it's never worked. So it's just, it's just something that makes me laugh and laugh more and more the drunker I get. Uh, so every time I hold my hand up, I see stop, and then I drink, and then I laugh, and I laugh because I drink, and I drink because I laugh. It's a vicious, vicious cycle, people. I do not recommend getting a stop sign tattoo in your hand. Hi, so, Richard. How my name is Channing. Hi, Channing. So nice yeah. to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. How would you describe yourself on a night out? On a night out? Oh, uh, it's Scott, he's all over the place. He's yeah. the worst. How am I the worst? You're the worst because the thing is, is like you think inside your head. So I'll go hang out with you. We'll go to a regular bar. Next thing you know, I'll be like, hey, Rich. Oh, you left somewhere. Oh, okay. Now <laughs> well, you I'm here by do, myself. You have to do the black Irish exit. And if you guys aren't, <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with the Irish exit, someone was like, someone on, on Instagram, or no, no, it was Twitter, was like, oh, my God, I do that all the time. I didn't know there was a name for it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's called the Irish exit where you just drink, you drink, you're with your friends, and then they never see you. They yeah. never see you again. Uh, what you, fun is that? Well, it's oh, fun it's because fun for it, Richard because he leaves me solo dolo <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Well, no, it's the the, the crazy thing about Talking it is to that crazy people. So funny story. There was a uh, an actor that would be that will remain nameless. Uh, so we all went to cafeteria in New York City. This was in my like twenties. Heyday. It's heyday. So we were all sitting there. Everyone's eating. It was like you would go to cafeteria at like four a.m. So cracking. Uh, it was actually David Allen Greer, who I was a big and Living Color fan. Ooh. Like he, everybody back here is way too young to remember him, but he's a really, really funny guy. So we were sitting there, and um, everybody was eating and drinking. It was like five o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden we were like, "Where the hell did he go? Like, did he really leave us?" We're like, "Oh, that's kind of messed up that he left us." And so the waitress, and we're like, "He didn't even give us any money." So as the waitresses are coming and clearing like the table at the like as we're done with our meal, we, they lift up his plate and he had put a hundred dollar bill under the plate, just to be like, okay, yeah, I covered my tab. So that was the best Irish exit I've ever seen. He just put money under a plate, so when the plate lifted up, there was money. So I am a big Irish exit guy because taking saying goodbye could take you thirty minutes. Then people try and rope you it's in. It's called respect. I, th when you're drinking, it's not about Thank respect. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's really. Wait, you guys, when you guys drink, you guys drink with, like, I'm respectful. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> like, that's, that's Hold just, let's let's I, drink respectfully. Like, respectfully. Yes. They say that on the slogans, like, drink responsibly, but that's not true. Let's be honest. <laughs> All three of us went to college. And University of Toledo, uh, uh, Arizona. I, we won't compare her college. Community college? college to well, I no. Hey, oh, we're, you hey, get so mad. Okay, we're, sorry, we're sorry, it, sorry, They're sorry, in the sorry, Mac. Sorry. The it's Mac real truck conference. will get really offended. We, it's a real conference, wait, wait, sort of. We got some colleges back here. Anybody want to? UT? UT Toledo? Yeah. No, no. That's not UT. UT is Texas. Okay, Tristan. No, you're not from Texas. You can't oh, say that. Oh, there's a lot of people. I'm from America. Akron? Oh, okay. You are way too young. Well, I did not know you were back here. Where did you he go to college? He listens to the podcast. You do? Here, let me sign that for you. Okay. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> well, you know I'm funny? Don't I have braces for six years. I, I don't. Just don't say ah, oh, but only because I'm signing this so you get out of here so we can keep talking. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you had braces for six years also, Channing? Uh, yeah. That Tristan now uh, has braces because he's been bopped in his mouth so bad. Ooh, his teeth are jacked. <laughs> for those tuning in still on Fox Sports Ohio, continue to send your questions. We will get to you here in moments. There you go, bud. What's, what are we going to talk so about? Send good you. questions. And let's go well, I questions. turned around. I've seen all of these like mid-20s. I turned around to find out like what college people went to, and I see a, a nine-year-old. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like uh, how old are you? But he, nine! Oh, my God. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got a I lot of people out here. Is that your Let's brother? Yep. Yeah. No, brother. get you're, out of here. You're definitely not nine. We're not signing shit for you. In their defense, oh though, God. in their defense, though, you basically want to dismiss the regular season, and these two both, I watched them. You know my position right as you guys walk off the floor? Yeah. They stood there waiting for autographs after, like, game 78 for you two, and you were so mad <laughs> when you walked off the floor. Who did we lose to? You walked right past them. Oh, man. Everybody? I, I'll be honest. You I were still on the floor. Was I? Yeah. Oh. And then I started my post game, so I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. No, I, after the game. It was after. People that listen to the podcast, they know that Channing's whole goal is to get free stuff. And it has not really been working out. At Actually, it has. And we can talk about that right now because we've got a couple of sponsors on board. And actually, it leads me to another thing as Nobody well. Nobody tells me nothing. Let's start with Seat Geeks. Has anyone ever heard of Seat Geeks? <laughs> hey, guess who is coming? <laughs> right up my alley. Guess who's coming to Cleveland? June say, 30th. Garth Brooks. <laughs> First of all, uh, let's start there. July 15th Who at Progressive. Who sings Red Solo Cups? The country singer. Garth? No, Luke Garth? Bryan is coming to Too Progressive Bryan. with Brett Eldridge. Brett Eldridge? Ooh. July 15th. You don't know who that is. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we have a moment? Before sorry, the so podcast so, okay, okay, even okay. started, we did a dry run. We were in Utah. We were like, let's see if this works out. Let's, let's kind of, you know. Record yeah. one, see what we think. And so I asked these guys if they listen to country music. Channing said. <laughs> what did I say? I forget. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black Straight? <laughs> yeah, Black Straight. What is Black Straight? Isn't that George Strait Black and George uh, Black Strait? Black Hole like no Sun put together? It's no. just George Strait. Just George, uh, George Strait? George Strait? Oh, it's tight. Country yeah. He probably turned to the camera and apologized to George Strait. He's a legend. I'm 99% sure George Strait is not <laughs> watching this podcast. <laughs> If he is, then he definitely has had he too much coffee. He lives in San Antonio. <laughs> we got Tim Duncan. He's definitely heard of our podcast. Okay. Okay. I'm my lying. bad, George. Okay. I don't I'm know. Making, you said that was such confidence. I said it was such confidence. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, obviously, thanks to Seat Geeks, I use that. I use that for Eric Church at the Q. Uh, not too long ago, when I got my tickets there, Eric Church is amazing. Uh, but also, Blue Apron. Ooh, I oh, use yes. that. I do yes. use that. We Blue get our Apron's orders tight. tomorrow, of course. They're on board with us as well. Um, Taco night. Taco night. <laughs> I gotta speak. I get hype for like two minutes. What days. is that? Can, the I see, can, I see that can I see the hype? The hype move one more time. The That's <laughs> terrible. Don't. That's my thing, dog. Boom. So, yeah. That's how you know I'm serious. Ooh. So. Hey guys, guess what? We have questions. Questions. Rafa. From those oh here at Town Hall. Yeah, our Spanish reporter, Rafa. Before we give it to Kara, for all you guys that want to buy tickets on Seat Geek, there is a promo code twenty dollars off on the first road. Promo code. Road. Road. R-O-A-D. You get $20 off for the first ticket, the first purchase. So go to SeatGeeks and get, get the app. Let's uh, go. Kara has a question yeah. for you guys. Yeah. So obviously besides Town Hall, where are some of your favorite places to hang out and go out and black out in Cleveland? And black out in Cleveland. <laughs> well, there was a lot of blacking out during uh, last postseason. Channing, where, what are you? Uh, I'm pretty simple. Like I think uh, I roll with Dante's. I love Dante's uh, restaurant. Ginko. Dante's restaurant's amazing. And Ginko. then there's like a little dive bar underneath there that I frequent. I, I, she said blackout. Where do you, where, uh, I, I hear people ooh. saying words. I, I don't, don't, don't words. know those words. Hey. Um, and then, um, gosh, where else, man? I'm like a dive bar guy, man. You might see me at some random why spots. Why are you lying? You're Dover not, say, the, say the B word. Say the B word. I'm, not, I'm a roll. I'm a roll. Okay, Barley House. I roll with, <laughs> I roll with the okay, Barley House. Okay. Listen, I went to the Barley House before I was even on the Cavs. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, me and Joe got a mutual friend from Arizona to play baseball. Okay. okay. I'm not going to say names. You know yeah, so that's so, real. So we, where do you go? Yeah, Papa who, John's? Where, yeah, yeah. I, where do I go? I go to you know, any, any place that has, you know, elderly care. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I like play a lot of bingo. Piccadilly's? I get, I get, uh, a lot of bridge. You, you black out from bingo? Uh, oh, it gets you, crazy gets up really in bingo. Intense. What? All right, I'll tell you what. You call out the wrong bingo, and you'll see a lot of canes <laughs> and, like, fake teeth being thrown at you. It's not. Oh. It's not. What? You're upset? You have a fake tooth. Wait, what, why is this, why is this inappropriate? Have, I have one. You have you have 15, 15. I have I have 39 fake teeth. None of these are real. Are you serious? Oh, really? No, that's not oh. true. Oh, oh God. God. Like, <laughs> Gullible's not in the dictionary either, Channing. Oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think for me, I, our team, because, okay, I don't know if you guys remember this, but you remember the Indians made it to the World Series? Yeah. Yes. Well, our team enjoyed that quite a bit. I don't know if you guys remember <laughs> too much. that. Too we, much. No, there's no such thing as too much. Uh, we enjoyed that quite a bit. Just more of supporting the fans that are supporting us, that supported us, supporting the city. 
Uh, I, I didn't. Neither of us really grew up with a baseball team because we grew up in Phoenix. What do you so mean, we, dude? The Diamondbacks the, won. The Diamondbacks. But I'm saying the Diamondbacks got there when you were 16 years old. Yes. So you didn't grow up with a baseball team. Uh, true, so like true, I said, true. I'll continue speaking for Chad. Can I roll with the bandwagon? Now? You can jump on the. Ba- I would I, jump listen, on it. I'm trying to give. Off? I'm trying to give love to Cleveland. That's okay, all okay, it is. okay. 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 Love so, Cleveland. Love Cleveland. You know, well, so we were supporting the people that supported us before Chanley so rudely interrupted. Chanley. Me. Why do you? Ke- it's the Sorry. coffee. Oh my bad, my bad. I'll leave you alone. And so I can't help it, man. Really? It's okay. I'll okay. be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Okay. See. We need more fan questions. Bully. Bully finish move. your finish what you were saying. Uh, it's the coffee. Okay. I don't. I don't. Know. All right. <laughs> here we go. We're calling. All right. So you guys are playing the Pacers in the next round. What do you think the tension is going to be like between Lance Stephenson and LeBron James? Oh, I, I forgot to say no Stephenson. basketball question. But no, no, it's okay. No, 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 it's no. okay. No, you're fine. Well, I'll, I'll answer that. I know Lance uh, Stevenson. Uh, no, Lance is uh, a very good competitor, and even Bron, uh, Bron, will say, Bron, Bron says that. Bron, Bron will be the first one to admit it kind of as uh, crazy as he is, as crazy of a reputation as he, that he does have. He does live for those moments. He is a person that uh, when he's focused and he's doing that, then, then he can impact the game. So he's definitely somebody that you pay attention to and uh, you, you have to give respect to. But at the end of the day, we, we all believe that we, we have the best team. Uh, we have the best team uh, and we have the best players. So uh, as long as we do our jobs, we're going to be just fine. What is the over-under that Lance will blow in his ear? Zero. Maybe Zero. he'll blow Z- in his face. Lance, Lance was Zero. searching for a job. Lance was not in the NBA four months ago. He came and worked Wait, out. Wait, did you see what he just did not too long ago? A couple of games ago? No, but that was that was stupid. Oh, the that, layup? That, that, no, the layup. <laughs> yeah. that, that was stupid because he wore a bunch of Toronto stuff a couple of days later. <laughs> that was funny. Because the Toronto Raptors, uh, I think did a was, windmill. They did a pow, got a breakaway at the end of the game when the game was already seated, did a windmill. So he put on all the Toronto Raptors stuff kind of like, okay, you guys want to get mad at me and then you do this. But, no, I, look, I, I think there's zero chance. Like I said, Lance was looking for a job a couple, a couple of months ago. He worked out here in Cleveland trying to get on our team, and we decided to go another route. How do you think that would have went over? That wouldn't have went over well. <laughs> I, no. I think our team is dysfunctional <laughs> enough. So. Oh. More questions? More fan questions? Okay, more, more fan questions. <laughs> oh. So are you guys going to keep updating the podcast over the playoffs? Because I know it gets, like, more intense or whatever, but, like, what's your guys' plan for that? Uh, you you did kind of, to his credit, you though. did kind of beat around the bush as to whether or not you're going to record no. in the playoffs. Well, I, I think this is the thing. About recording. See, so recording, we're going to do what we normally do. We hang out. We record. We kind of crack jokes. Like the conversations that Allie and Channing and I have, we have at dinner. We'll have on the plane. Like we're all in close proximity. So uh, I think for for the group, we're going to continue to record, but we won't put anything out. We won't put anything out until series are over. Just so that way we don't have to listen to – we win a game, we put out a podcast, then we lose the game, then people try and correlate percentages in the sun and the moon <laughs> and say – You know oh. right now it's not assist to turnovers. <laughs> Ratio for Richard, it's points to podcast. Points to podcast. <laughs> well, that's not my job. <laughs> yeah, listen. That's, that's not my job. If I, I don't <laughs> score, they're, they're probably not getting double teamed. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, so, where did you ever come up with the word bang outs? Uh, it's what, what you have to do to make your unathletic dunks seem cool. So whenever I get some dunks, I'm like, I'm about to bang on that <laughs> fool's head, you know? Say it one more time. What? Say it one I more got time. Like, I'm like, I harness the, the, know, the, the urban the, in me. The, the urban? You don't ha- you have no urban <laughs> in you. I got a couple you. urban bones what, in there. What, what urban bones do you have in you? Mm, I don't know. Where's, Anyways. where's dinner tonight? I don't even know. We're not. God, Richard. I'm, what? I know where it's at. I can't say it on, on live air. Why? We're, oh, we're going to be just in an open area? No, we're going to. It's going to be good. It's is Little Kev attending dinner tonight? So people it is ask, the playoff. People keep asking me about Little Kev. He is one stubborn little prick. I'll tell you that. <laughs> t- Did you I say said, prick? Yes. <laughs> Did you just say I it wa- just to say it, Channing? Yeah, <laughs> <it's>, I want <laughs> to see how just, good it felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you just say prick? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. I mean, I've been asking him. I was like, dude, man, like we've been going through a lot. We've had a lot of injuries. We'd love it if you came on board uh, for this next round. And it was like he he's – he says that if he jumps in and does this, he will only, like, go full bore. And I'm like, man, like, well, I've been doing the podcasting. He's like, cut the podcast. If you're going to do this, we need to get – he even criticized me for not being on Snapchat enough. 
He was saying that my Snapchat has not been nearly as impressive. I was it's like, it's been weak. It's been weak. Really? Channing, you really? stuck your, your snap really? game up, though. My snap game is noise. So your snap game is <laughs> trash. Look, I think it's a little more artistic than yours, Richard. Artistic. So, you know, it's you not about the numbers, you Richard. Do filters. It's about connecting you, with the people. You don't. You do. do Who? Filter. Let's let's take a let's take a vote. Okay. Whose snap game Who's? is better this year? This, this year. This year. If you think Richard, give me some noise. Damn. Damn! You know what? We're yeah. going to need call me. Can we, can we add some ambient noise onto that? that? <laughs> it was as if they all came together and pointed that it, you could yeah. hear a pin If you think Channing's snap game has been on point. Ooh, you smell that uh, winner. <laughs> Apparently, people must have forgot uh, Kate nope. Felder dancing in an Oompa Loompa costume. Appar oh, oh, you guys remember that now. Oh, yeah. They okay. really you know what? You yeah. decay, One though. does not combine against hundreds of beautiful snaps. Well, I'll tell you this. Snapchat will be full effect in the playoffs. We are going to be snapping all of this shit. Stuff, stuff, my man. My no, man. it's fine. We're allowed to say that word. Guys, let's tap into we our about, Facebook we Live. Talk, we Facebook talk. Live, Facebook Live, Facebook yeah, Live. Those who are tuning in from all across the world, Gelman. Gelman. Our guy Gelman What's over up, here has G? delivered. Wait, it's not, you know, Gelman? You know Gelman's not his real name. Gelman. I, like I, Gils? I call, I call him Gelman Gil because. Gelsman? <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm done. Do you watch, do you watch <laughs> Kelly Sorry. and Michael? Kelly Live? Do you watch, what? No. Do you guys you watch Regis Kelly and Michael? Kelly? Yeah, Regis and Kelly. No, I don't watch that mess. Gelman is basically the producer for Kelly. Oh, and Gil. So okay, wait. Sorry. So, Gelman, no, I, anyway. I, what's your I real name? Keep, what's your real wait, name? Wait, wait, wait. I just need a moment. Kelly, you said I would Kyle? love. Kelly, Connor. I'm okay, trying okay. to retire, Kelly. Please have me come. I will do such a great Richard. job on your show. Richard. I would Richard. Do such, what? Take your own advice. Nobody cares. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. Magda from Ooh, um, up, Facebook Magda? Live. Channing. Yo. What? <laughs> oh, man. Here what's we go. What's most annoying about RJ? Don't speak. Yeah. Uh, that RJ never just says, you know what? You're right. Like, no matter what, even if he is dead wrong, okay? Dead wrong. Like, Richard, you should take a left. Well, you know, listen, I think if we just make this, we shouldn't have been there on time. Because, look, if we make the end, like, we, if we come five, ten minutes late, that's when everybody else is going to get there. You're like, no, Richard, we're late. Let's not be late. <laughs> but no, no, Chenny, Chenny, trust me, Chenny. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But trust me, this is going to be good. So Richard can never be wrong, and that's why I love him, and that's why I hate him. It's because I hate being late, and, but Richard just... <laughs> It just can never be wrong. It's, it's an argument you'll never win because okay. he will argue with you for That's four true. hours. I enjoy debating. I enjoy arguing. Channing, <clears throat> answer me this. Why does no one want to sit next to you on the bench? Oh, because I talk the whole time. <laughs> I like to talk the game, dog. I like to talk. I don't want to be a, in my own head. There was a point in time I don't think anyone on the bench wanted to talk to each other because it was a rough what? game, and I look over at Channing, and Channing is talking <laughs> to a fan on the bench. Oh. I'm dead ass. If you yeah. sit right there, sure. you're going to get talked to. So I, you, your basketball knowledge, you're going to go home like, damn, dog. I just like, <laughs> uh, yo. No, so I, I obviously. Did I just talk to Wooden people, right there? <laughs> people, <laughs> people know that me and Channing grew up together. We've known each other. But this is the first time we've ever been on a team. Like, I left um, I, before my senior year started. Channing would have been a freshman. So this would have been, this. Channing wants one of my coffees. Can we get two of my coffees, please? Uh, Channing, this was the first time that we've been on the same team. So I had no idea that Channing liked to um, detail every aspect of the game. You know oh, what we should do? Le LeBron so, hates it. Yeah, he hates it. He Lots won't of sit people. next to me. No, LeBron, Dar JR, Darren. Darren. So Darren sat next to you. Uh, Kane has like, no choice. And he was like. James Jones is cool. Darren stood up and was like, Hi, I, can't sit, no. I can't sit next to him anytime. And it's like, I've never said that. It's not because you're not annoying. It's just because well, I, we're I just, usually either in the game together or we're like or we're out game. of the game sitting next to each other while you're telling me about what's going on in the game. Well, uh, would you rather me speak it or would you rather me like be inside my own head and be, be quiet? Be inside your own head. No, no because, because then, then y'all can be the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, then man. The Matrix. Matrix. We talked about the Matrix. The Matrix is a very, very dark place that oh, athletes man. or basketball players go. Baseball players call it a slump. Uh, basketball players call it the Matrix or they call or it just going Channing. to a dark place. No, no. Lots of people call it the Matrix. Damn. I don't know if any of you guys saw uh, Get Out. It's very similar to going into, like, the sunken place in Get Out. That's what the Matrix is. Like, literally in the sun. You didn't see Get Out because you've never seen anything. But uh, oh, that she's, was aggressive. she's never seen Anchorman. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. disappointing. 
Ali. Anyways, the sunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys God. get boo Ali. Boo Ali. That's no, fine. No, yeah. boo, no. And on to the next question. Jonathan from Facebook <laughs> wants to know who should be the new NBA logo? How about that? Uh, Michael Jordan. No, no. Jerry West is I a I think it should be Channing Fry. Jerry yeah, West. Yeah, your mind, girl. Jerry <laughs> West is an introvert. He doesn't like the attention. The logo will never change. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that anticlimactic for you guys? I'm just telling <laughs> yes. you. I'm just telling you guys. The logo's not going to change. They're not going to change it. it. He just doesn't it want it. It shouldn't change. But I'm saying if it yeah. had to change, that's the question. If right? it had to change, they're not going to make Jordan's brand like his oh, logo. Oh, he does have a brand. Yeah, he True. does have a brand. Yeah. yeah, that's not. I try not to wear those. Not. Just kidding. Unless you give them to me for free. Brandon from Facebook wants to know who will be the first person to snap from the bench. Oh, not Ooh. me. Not me. I don't want hey, that. My I, paychecks are I, good, shoot. but they ain't that good. I'm going to tell you that they, right now. I Look. thought they were going to release me when I when I what? Snapchatted the ring, the championship oh, ring. Oh, yeah. That was bad. Oh, Rick, you did. What were you thinking, though? Yeah, Richard. I what love were you the thinking? fans. I do this for you guys. I do this for you guys. You you guys got to see the rings before everybody else. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. What am I doing? What is he doing? Sorry for caring. Sorry for caring. Yeah. What is you he also doing? were up on the stage at the ESPYs, and people were like, Richard, oh enjoy the moment. God. Be present. I could care less about the moment. I just wanted were to Snapchat. Were you even there I wanted to mentally, snap or were you I'll already blacked out? I'll tell you this. So, first, oh, quick lesson. Do you know who was sitting in front of us? Who? Adam Silver. Oh, and right? I was Snapchatting, oh, and I was Snapchatting was his bald head. His I was like acting like, well, I was But well, you yes. can do that because you're bald. So yeah, that, that's fine. No, but oh, I yeah, wasn't even, I, I, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I wasn't even, so the first time, so we won five awards. One of them is in my basement still in my bar. It's cool because I wouldn't let go oh. of it. But the first one that we, wore, we won was like best moment. I was in the green room, not sober, looking at my stop sign. Just, I was like, oh, I should probably get back because I see like half the guys up on stage and then the next time I made it on stage. So I had to Snapchat for the fans so they could see what it was like to be on stage at the What's SB. What's going to happen when you do something <laughs> and you go to say it's for the fans, Yeah, but they don't care? Oh, they care. Oh, well, not, not the th fans, the person that you're trying to convince. I, well, I, I don't. How? I, I'll stop caring about them. Okay. The minute I'm trying to convince um, them. Can I know, tell you a great so story? Crazy. Tell us a great story, Channing. This from is the rare. From the SBs. I was going to say, because the very first time we talked about this, episode one. Oh, and man. we haven't talked about the SBs since. Oh, our coffee's so, here okay. with limes. So, oh, I've never seen ice and coffee. Oh, you're drinking iced coffee. Okay. I don't know. It's an iced tea uh, latte. Okay. <laughs> tell us a funny story, Channing. It's Moroccan. Give us, <laughs> <laughs> give us a okay, funny story so from the SBs. I don't know if you were there, but... Every time we had a chance, we would go back and forth to the bar at the ESPYs, just enjoying our time. Now, mind you, there's the Broncos there. There's the Penguins there. There's the, I think, who won it? Not last year, but the year before, the Royals? No, but, but keep going Anyways, the story. baseball champions. The, like, <laughs> the baseball <NASCAR>. champions. <laughs> right. So there's all these champions in there. So, you know, me being who I am in this open bar, you know, I'm like, hey, shots for the champions. So... One of the baseball players goes, shots hey, the champions. we're champions so too. So I said, shots for them. <laughs> then some of the Broncos players like, hey, we're champions too. So I go, shots for them. <laughs> right? Then the NASCAR guy goes, hey, I'm a champion. I said, what'd you win? He goes, and he named something. I'm sorry, not a big NASCAR guy. He won something. I said, you know what? Shot for him too. He coped. He probably played you. No, it yeah, doesn't even matter. No, no, no. <laughs> because it, in the room that we're at, it was like, Peyton Manning, eight never, of us. Never heard of him. What? <laughs> <laughs> never heard of him. He thought you were <laughs> Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Richard, do you know he, the guy that won the, the, the quarterback? Super Bowl, he throws the, 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 the football. He football. He's he doesn't throw the football. Uh, okay. Anyways, okay. Um, so all these champions are in this room, and me being who I am, like Mr. Role Player, just space the floor, kind of kind of cute, you know, shoots threes. Oh, my Jesus. Bang outs. Um, uh, do you want I'm like, this is the greatest day of my life, yeah. sports-wise. And all of a sudden, we cheers, and there is literally like 17 people just cheersing from all champions, all sports. Like, it was one of the greatest moments, and I forever will be like, I'm telling this story. I think, I, ha I, think I took that shot, and Shannon, do you remember uh, what I did in between dinner? In oh, the, in you the took club? a nap. So we you go. Took a nap at oh, the he SB? took a nap. Oh, no, 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 so no, I, I, I was literally, I got MVP of the ESPYs, uh, <laughs> as you guys might have seen. 
You're and supposed to give those awards back. Yeah, I did not. I kept the award. Literally, the award is in my base. They oh. came. So it was like, hey, Mr. Jefferson, would you like that? He's like, nope, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to hold like, this. Like, you know what? Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what? So you're like, mm, okay, okay. So this is what go happened. Ahead, go ahead. So now. Kendrick Lamar was playing at uh, the oh, so Uninterrupted good. Event. He was playing mm. at the Uninterrupted Event. And so we, after the ESPYs, we went to dinner. After dinner, so we were going to eat dinner, and then after that, we were going to go. Mind you, I might have had one or two many drinks. My tattoo stop sign was not working. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I go into the spot, and it was me, Channing, and one of our other friends. And it was like at a big restaurant, but every, like Bron and everybody was on their way. So I'm sitting there not sober, right? And I'm sitting there, and I tell myself, I, like, I need to make I need to make Kendrick Lamar. I need to see Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. Oh. So I go back into the Uber or the car, and I sleep in the car for like two hours, hour and a half, two as long because dinner takes forever with Bron. Bron's the longest dinner person in the he's world. He's an Italian. The, he he's he's full on Italian when it comes to dinner. Like if you go to dinner with Bron, you will be there three and a half hours, no doubt, without a doubt. So I he doesn't like to just enjoy his meal. No, he enjoys, what? but no, it's it's. Oh. I'm talking about it's wine. Maybe he, maybe he likes his hour? company. It, no, it's oh, not, he does. That's it, what no, we we're, do. We're not we sit there and talk and listen to music. But I was sitting there with my eyes, not going up and down, trying to decide <laughs> if I was going to make it three hours. So I had to go decide. I I decided to go sleep in the car. Right, I sleep in the car, and then Chan. Did you bring me food? Was it yes, you? Yes, I Chan brought you. Food. Chan brought me food like a good the teammate, hero. like a good friend. He's always a hero in every story. And so. Uh, he brings me food. I eat it in the car on the way to Kendrick, uh, Kendrick Lamar, and then I, uh, I'm the MVP of Kendrick Lamar's concert, and I kept arguing with Lolo Jones about something. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it was, but oh, I just kept arguing with her man. about something. Uh, to be a fly on the wall. To be uh, a fly on the wall. For sure. Uh, any fan questions out here? Where were the fans' questions? Let's get that. We got, Rafa, we got one right here. She has okay, a fan right question. Over here. Oh, okay. We'll come over to you next. Oh. I want to start with uh, thanking Channing for being my uh, player mentor in yes. 2K15. Ooh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, I get my that question, question, like, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> my question's about uh, like the kind of guy that Dante Jones is. That you know, we give him the whole year off basically, and here we are in playoff time, and. He's back again. Is he a great guy to have in the locker room, a good teammate, or uh, Be honest. is he just really lucky? He was in elite shape. I can he, tell you that. Oh, no. He's going to stay in shape. He just don't mess with the Versa Climber. Uh. Anyways, that's a different – sorry, Dante. I put your business out there. But, no, no, Dante is a great guy, man. I think for us, um, when you're looking at uh, a guy who's going to be 14th or 15th mm -hmm. on our team, you need a guy who, number one, knows the game, who's been around it, who's been there, and then a guy who's not only going to motivate – the younger guys that we have on our team, but if he needs to get in there, I think people forget that he actually played legit minutes in some Game big series. Six, six. Five points in five minutes because yeah. you were in foul trouble. Kev was in foul why trouble. Why are you bringing up old stuff? Wait, don't. I'm just telling you what Dante did and you why he's back my, on my your team. My dog was sick. Doing you want to talk about that too? Jeez. Your dog oh, was sick? We talked yeah. about We've that. We've already talked about your dog. No, no, but Dante's great count. for us because I think he's, he's also in a place where he knows his role. But he also is going to be – he's always going to be ready. You know, I think mm -hmm. between him, James Jones, um, and some of the other vets that D we Will. have. They're always Derek. Yeah, 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 Derek. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, you know, even Derek's young. Where there, It's like I don't even know on a daily basis what Derek can do because he could do so much. And I think when he gets his opportunity, people are going to be amazed at how talented he is, man. He is a freak athlete and, uh, you know, he went to the best school. Uh, in the world. So University of Arizona, bear down. Go Wildcats. Bear, bear number down. one recruiting class. They already say that we're going to start off the season number one. Oh, number uh, one again? Number oh, one again. Did start oh, off yeah. number one? Jane, you have you been number one in the country before? Uh, twice. I've been number boring. one in the country multiple times. It's overrated. Uh, While no we're working our mic around, let's uh, go to Finn. I love this name. Finn from Facebook. Finn, like uh, Star Wars? Oh, we got some shirts here, don't we? We got some shirts Did for Did you Finn. ever get in touch with Owen Wilson? Is he <laughs> coming on the podcast? That's on you. That. Well, Channing had Owen Wilson face to face and saw yeah. him and missed that opportunity. I he was on the elevator. Privacy, Owen Wilson and I was started more conversation how tall he was. with Channing and watched him get off on Richard's floor that we were about to go to oh in God. three minutes to record the podcast. And you didn't even think to bring him on the pod. Yeah. Hey, Owen Wilson. This is uh, so You awesome. don't know me. I'm a seven foot black guy, and it's just <laughs> me, you, and Darren Williams on an elevator. How about I aggression you? 
to and bullying you to I, get on I, our I want to say the minute you open your mouth and say more than six words, no one is afraid of you. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Listen, but I've been growing my beard out, though, yeah, dog. It's like, not like you're like, trying hey, to get the biker hey, look. hey, homie. What's up? You want to come on our podcast? That's not how that went. That's not how it went. You're like, hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Wilson. Because uh, you talked okay. the same I was same down there with Kyle. Oh. I was on oh, the, uh, bro, are you kidding? Why no, no. Are you Kyle so kept calling him Mr. You. Wilson. I was more like, Mr. I just want to hear you talk. <laughs> you actually know minute. something? Holy minute. Sh- <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is the first, I, I, listen, I, we need a moment of silence for everyone. That is the first TV or movie first quote one. that she has been it on is point Dennis with. Dennis the Menace? Dennis the Menace. And, it, and it's not 90210 because no one quotes that. That's her only show. I feel like you're judging me. I'm so judging you. So this judging. is the definition of judging. No, no. Owen Wilson, shockingly, looks and sounds exactly like he does on the movies. Um, and like I said, like, his nose is not that crooked. Would you rather have his nose or your yellow tooth? Oh, I'm rolling with my tooth all day, every day. That's a it's champion's gold. tooth. Uh, it's gold. Wait, wait. Let's go to the right here. Fan question. Okay, what drink would like best fit your personality? Ooh, what's your name? Addy. Addy, that's a good one. Ooh. Uh, really? <laughs> my personality? Maybe like a Cabernet 1978. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mine First is adios, mud. Yeah, yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> really? Mine is nine uh, behind I you. I said, I, what? I bleep How about it a out. nice Evian water with a splash of lemon? Oh, the expensive water that you like to buy? That's so terrible. I, do, I did it the other day. My man goes, yep. Oh, God. <laughs> this said, is, see, yeah, this, this is, is so, BG, so I'm going to be honest. When I grew up in Phoenix, like the favorite schools for us to beat were. Hang on. Before you get into was that your drink? What, his Adios. drink? Yeah. No, no, no. My what? What drink would this uh, describe my personality? Yeah. I Ooh. have no idea. There's way too many drinks. I have way too many personalities. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Okay. okay. That's funny. You don't have one? Uh, it'd probably be a John Daly. John, John Daly. Daly. There you go. That was a good question, Addy. That's Thank a you. great question. Great question. Shout out to Fresh mm. Brew Teas. Check they out the new teas. Yeah. Right. That's so awesome. They made us a character. Yeah, yeah you guys are shouting out. Look at yeah, my beard, shout them out. The yeah, they, hey, and the they thing made, is growing in. It's you not that the, accurate. They made all look of Channing's teeth. Look at the shoulder. They, they look at the delts. All, they made all of Channing's teeth white, so oh, it's not the most man, accurate shirts. Oh, man, look at the shirts. muscles, though. Look, at, look, I'm wearing a bro tank. I got the muscles tatted up with the watch. That's so Channing, I, how did you feel? You just had a bobblehead the other night. How yeah. did you feel? Did you see the video by chance of Braun stepping on your? Nope, I don't watch that paraphernalia. Channing's <laughs> never listened to one of the podcasts. How about that? I can't. Guys? I'm too artistic. He's Channing is artistic, artistic now. I'm too artistic. He is now that guy. That's awesome. Uh, you know, once I say it, it's done. It's over with. It's in the world. And I can't take it back. So I'm not going to listen to it. Wait, we need another fan question from in the building because these guys are amazing. These we guys have been supporting us, hanging out. Rafa's got the mic. Rafa. Damn, Rafa. Stop being stingy, homie. Are you getting? Yeah. Here, well, how about this? Why don't you just hand it to me? Oh, no. Yeah, this is this is nacho These break. These are actually really good. You're really good. No, no, no. That's really good, too. How are your drinks, guys? Uh, the coffee's great. Oh, it's getting a little great. chilly, but it's good. All right, right behind you. All right, all right. Uh, you take your time. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we can multitask. It's actually for you. Oh, jeez. Um, Ooh. What's your name? Think. My name is Taylor. What's up, Tay? Hi. <laughs> will you or will you not be playing in the NBA next year? Oh, that's oh a good question. Oh, my God. Here we go. Did you hear it? What, I, man, everybody was really intense Here on the focus. Go. I'm going to tell you this. Um, considering I've had more dunks this year than Channing, and he's seven feet tall, uh, that You're is one welcome. of the <laughs> – What are you talking you, about? When you can shoot better he's than me, crushing, Yeah, he's I'll crushing you from beyond the arc if you're going to be <laughs> serious. Uh, he, uh, okay, destroy. well, wow. Uh, yes, I was going to get dunk, to that. I shoot. Uh, yeah, you're welcome because everybody's <laughs> afraid of me dunking, so they leave you open <laughs> to shoot threes. I think if you know math, three is more th- worth more than two. <laughs> Can you do it one more time? What's three th- is th- worth more than two. Worth more than two? Okay, yeah, he's right. right. Uh, honestly, uh, Tay, Taylor, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what I, I, don't know what I do when I'm going to wake up. I'm going to be honest. There's been multiple, ty- <laughs> multiple times in this season where I was just like, do I really want to go to practice today? I could just go back to Hermosa Beach and play volleyball. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Some I'm just kidding. I love basketball, and and I kind of kind of flipped the switch last year. After I really did contemplate retiring, it was more about, 
hey, I'm going to do this until I can no longer do this, until my body says no more. So I'm going to keep playing. As long as the Cavs want me here, I'm going to keep doing that. So there won't be, after we, after we win it this year, there won't be another uh, uh, retirement video yeah, and I pour it. champagne on <laughs> Allie over here. She's like, yeah, we won. I'm retiring. And I'm out. Yeah, there won't be any of that. <laughs> what, what did I say? We Nothing. got more fan uh, questions in here? In the building? What did I say? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, Rafa, I don't know if you can sit down anymore because we're going to get to the fan questions here. Right in the building. You. Yep. Um, so I have a question for you guys. Um, name? My name is Najeli. And Hi, Najeli. What's up, girl? Hi. Hey, girl. <laughs> see you. Hey, see you. Got the jersey underneath the hoodie. I, I see, see it. it. I, I see, see it. What's up? Blue okay. joint. Did you so cover it because it's not us? It's definitely not. They don't even it's sell not, No, they, they don't, don't sell, sell your jerseys. jerseys. <laughs> it's like an old we're deli jersey only, where you got to like mark only, it off. Okay, we're okay. only on this team for comic relief. That's True. the only the reason why we're here. Yeah, definitely the Expendables. <laughs> That's okay, what sorry, we, sorry, go sorry. ahead. I'm so sorry. I have a question for both of you guys. For being Arizona players, right. um, how did you guys fit into the program and how did they welcome you guys? Uh, being Arizona players? Yes. Oh, well, okay. Do you want the honest answer or you want the political one? Any. Uh, no, 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 we don't. We don't honest. do that. We don't do that. Honest. We don't do that. He said. He said. We don't do that. We don't do political. Oh, we don't honest. do political. Yeah. Okay. Well, the honest answer is this: yeah, the old. I'll say the Lute Olson group, not the Sean Miller. They're, they're a different guard. At Arizona, if, um, if you can make it to Sunday without throwing up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you were most likely going to get offered a scholarship. So uh, that that was pretty much it. But no, Lute Olson was an amazing coach and. For me, I think the biggest compliment to Lute Olson is a guy like Channing Fry, who was terrible in high school. Uh, he was terrible his first three I'm years of college. He was as terrible his first years of, three years of college. I'm a and developing. Then, then I'm a I, developing. I, I kid you not. Late I kid bloomer. You, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're seven feet. What were you? I wasn't seven, seven feet. feet. I was what, six you, nine. You were you were not six nine. I will punch six you. You're six like six, 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 six ish ish. So how for, do you guys like this bromance that you're witnessing right now? So I, I'm just saying, so for Channing, a guy like this guy who wasn't all Pac-10 until his senior year, um, and it's I not a disrespect. The seniors it's, to do their job. You're allowed to do, basically what I'm saying is that Channing worked for four years, and under the tutelage of Lute Olson, he became a top-10 pick and has had a 14-year career 12, so far, 12. 12 years. Yeah, who's counting? Uh, and not it'll, it'll eventually – he's going to play 16, <laughs> 17, 18 years in this league, and I think that is a compliment no, to Lute Olson. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, you're going to retire like me? Come on, that's my thing. Let's just keep it, Matt, keep it there. <laughs> we have reached the 60-minute mark, an hour. Should we keep going? Do you guys want, or do you guys I think as long as I think as long as we go fan questions, I think we're going to be okay. So, yeah. Uh, I know yeah. people's feet must be tired as hell. I don't know. They're doing a great job. Is there any way we can get – What? didn't we do a cheers? Didn't we do a cheers? What, what's the deal? A what? uh, at the ESPYs, didn't you do a cheers? I think some uh, of these people deserve a cheers. But well, people don't have a drink. We got a question. We got a question. And then we'll get into the cheers. Dan, with one last drink question, it won't be as bad as the last one, but are you still waiting on your wine from Delhi for March no, Madness? No. no. Oh, we we drank you, drank did, it. you did not <laughs> listen oh, to the podcast. That. Really? Did you listen to the podcast that we dropped today? <laughs> no. It's okay. <laughs> don't, I see you turning red. Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> so, no, no. It's not a knock. This is like, I, it's fine. We're fine. So, uh, <laughs> Delhi did give us this wine. He gave us Camus, and he gave us another one that I drank on my own. Uh, but uh, Channing and Allie partake in, in the Camus. But Deli, who I love, he, Deli's we, one of the best Deli's teammates, the best teammates I've ever had. He sat next to me on the plane. Cleveland we used to watch knows. Bill. They Cle love them some Deli. Yeah, yeah we, we love Deli. That's why I took his number. And, and that's, why, <laughs> and that, and that's <laughs> part of the work. reason why he was – if we can get him on the podcast, Give we will. Give him number back. Uh, it, we can't do it on the playoffs, so that will be unfortunate if, if, uh, if we're both fortunate enough to, to go to the next round. But – Deli is a guy that I'm extremely happy for and is a, is a great teammate. He's as good as you think he would be a, a, of a teammate. So, But, yes, no, we took his wine and we drank it, and St. Mary should never play Arizona in the playoffs again. Never. Matt from Facebook, guys, wants to know what gets you pumped for playoffs. Uh... <clears throat> You don't get these opportunities. I've been in the league 12 years, and so I'm not as blessed as Richard or the other guys on our team. So I've missed the playoffs three times by one game, and I've been to the playoffs three times. So for me, um, to have this opportunity to be on a team that I'm at, um, I take this very seriously. So, like, you know, throughout the year I've had my ups and downs, but I'm always like, okay, how can I get better 
because I want to uh, have an impact on the game. I, you know, I want to help us win as, as much as I can. <coughs> and, like, this where, like, no matter anybody can say anything to me about my game um, until I say, okay, well, how many championships do you have? <laughs> Okay, well, you suck. Well, no, I don't. I'm number one, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm literally the best, and that is all that I care about. So if I play zero minutes, if I play 48 minutes, and if really, I'm zero gonna, points. I'm going to be really honest. Can I, can I tell the fans something here? Tell them, tell them, Richard. It's really bothered me that Channing and I won a championship together because that's the thing I used to use against them because he didn't make it to the Final Four <laughs> in Arizona. I was like, Channing, you've never even been to a Final Four because they blew a lead against Darren Williams. We'll talk about it. No one cares. <sighs> no, we won't. But he goes, well, we got the same amount of championships, and it kills my fire, kills all, all of my steam. Yeah, I got that big, fat ring chilling at the crib <laughs> in a safe. Why didn't you bring it today? Oh, no, no, no. It's too heavy. I don't want to get tendonitis. <laughs> You got to get another one to weigh it out. You got to get another one to balance Ooh, it out. You got to get a balance yeah, it out. Yeah, I see you, Channing. <laughs> Channing's, People getting hype up in here. Channing's coffee is starting to take play. I started, started, starting to work in this there. This is just me in. just, just you know, feeling the connection the with the fans, the people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Allie, I don't know. Tell Ross, me. another question. Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about... Can we talk about uh, your Can we get Allie a can question? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm tired I, of I need you guys to I need talk to, to eat Allie. Some too. Can I'm we talk about this? Everyone on this panel, right? Like, you people always <laughs> want to know about your resume. People always want to know you about what, you you've people? Very, what you've always accomplished. What I want to say is this all three people here come from a great basketball lineage. All three of us, our, our teams won their conference championship. Allie, this year they did. Allie, congratulations. Uh, the University of Toledo women, they won their championship, the conference championship. They did. Yes. Yeah, they actually played at, uh, at the Q. Uh, and you lied on Twitter. You're like, I might have cried. And then oh, I responded. Oh, I damn near bald. You bald. I bald. You bald. <laughs> you bald. Yeah. You bald. I didn't damn near, I bald. You bald. Yeah, I did. did. Why yeah. would you lie? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, a.k.a. Allie. You're missing Joe. Mac truck. The Mac truck. Joe, Joe from wants, Facebook. Joe wants from Facebook. Thank you. All the Facebook people out there, thank you. We're going to get to as many questions as you can. How is it working with these guys? I think they're talking about the other guys. Everybody knows it's, a, it's just a pleasure to work with me. I think they're talking about everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great, uh, Joe. It, it is great. You guys are all different in your own unique ways. Um, <laughs> it's a lot Literary. of fun. You keep me on your toes. Uh, but I think you two especially – have been so much fun, and I think that's what the podcast has allowed, especially for fans to see is your personalities. Um, I think you guys exposed that and let that out last year via Snap. Richard, you, you of course, did that. <laughs> Mind um, you, we are the first team in history, first players ever in history to put out a podcast in season for the fans because we love you guys. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First one in history. I just think uh, a lot of times there are from the podcast and so forth, and, and even before that, I guess, there's a lot of comments that I would read on social media of how people would love to be friends with you guys. You know, and everyone always asks me. I'm too me moody. Who <laughs> <is> <laughs> like me. <laughs> you are, but then we relate. Okay, right. uh, oh, but wow. I think what is so fun is everyone always asks me, who's your favorite guest that you've had on the podcast? And you know, there have been so many different that we have had, but I think just being able to sit down and do this with both of you two and see your personalities and how dynamic you guys both are uh, and the way it's been able to mesh has been a lot of fun. So to Joe, it's, it's a blast. Yeah. It's Next great. question. Next question. Kim, I think there's more there. No, 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 no. There's not. We've oh, yeah, I guess. Wait, there's, you um, have a handful. Because we've already gone through them. Well, Casey them. from Facebook, what's your guys' favorite part of playing on this team? Winning. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, winning. Yeah, no, I, I I only came here. Channing makes so much more money than me. Uh, I'm so also like 10 years younger than you and nah, have nah. a freaking wet ball of a jumper. So oh, <laughs> Don't forget he's humble, people. People always Listen, forget I about how I didn't say I was good at anything else other than how, making sure nobody gets double teamed. Yes, how <laughs> humble he is. No, uh, yeah, no, winning is the best part. Woo, I love um, it. Yeah, no, I, I, we only came here. We only resigned here uh for winning, and I don't know if you guys, our guy Golden Hoops, uh, he's made some really amazing videos, mainly about Channing, uh, about Channing's ability to dunk, and you know all uh, of your awesome. You inspire me. You inspire. I've been getting bang outs lately. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're wrapping up. So because you guys have been so amazing, we've been here for an hour and fifteen hour and change. We're gonna sign autographs. We're gonna take pictures. So uh, this is what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some more questions from you guys, and that's how we're gonna end. 
this amazing session. We've got 10 minutes. What are you pointing so at? We got, question, we got time what? for three more questions. Really Let's go three attention. more. His hair is so smooth. No, he's nine. He's right got here. his whole life to live. Got, like, it's cool. Right here. <laughs> I got, cool. I got one for you guys. Yes. We very signed important. something. Pitch oh, we got shirts? Of our, because of our sponsor, Blue Apron. Oh, Flat World. Hey, how about the Flat World Championship shirts? Thank you to Kyrie. Thank you. Yes. This is, God, this is Rafa. awesome. What do you got? Because of our new sponsor, Blue Apron, I want to ask you guys, how important is nutrition for you guys? Oh, dude. Uh, well, no, other, that's than, a, other than I, what I just ate. But. I was a, uh, I was a, I was Are a you young, keeping that shirt for yourself? I'm definitely keeping it. I don't even know if it fits me, but it feels right. No, it's a small. Give it to the fans. <laughs> you're, you're not a small, are you? Why, how are you <laughs> clean? How, how did you get to the front of the lines? Here you go. Here's a small. Look at him. He oh, has braces. For the kids. Yeah, here we go. You're awesome. Hey, do you remember this? that movie, Three Ninjas? Yes. He looks like Rocky. <laughs> oh, you don't know that movie? I remember Three Ninjas, but no, I was. Oh, so tired. Yeah, I think I was watching Pulp Fiction around that time. <laughs> nutrition, sorry. guys, to you. Nutrition. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, back to the point. <laughs> uh, no, no, no I, I think having healthy food, having, having something that uh, is, is easy. Like I, like I said, I, I, at my house, you know, the two kids, one of which is whooping our ass. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> Phoenix uh, or Little Rich? Uh, Phoenix. Little Rich is just, he's a hellion. Uh, Chang's got three kids. So uh, I think having, you know, something like Blue Apron that, that you can deliver meals and it make it easier uh, for you just kind of get about, you know, just to go about your day and, and, and not something that you have to stress about. I think that's something that's amazing. I think it's awesome. I think people should check it out. I think it's efficient. I think it's quick. Obviously, I think it's very convenient as well. I actually had a friend who just uh, about a couple weeks ago, uh, <laughs> prayers up to her. She was just diagnosed with uh, stage three melanoma. And I think a way to reach out and help their family is to provide them with meals. Yeah. And, you know, one thing is, is you can take meals over, you can send gift cards, et cetera, but they are still wanting to cook meals as well. And so they, they mentioned some, somewhere like Blue Apron. Yeah. So I think it's one of those places, too, that allows that opportunity to, to kind of happen. Yeah. Um, Next let's question. There I, need more right I need more t-shirts. I need more t-shirts. Fresh brood, fresh brood. Where, where are the t-shirts? Do you got? Oh, jeez, we gave him out. I should. Oh, I, Tony's in the house. I, I so should have kept Tony, Tony what? Uh, this is his favorite Cleveland shirt. Right here, we got a question. I'm Marissa. Um, it's kind of a silly question, but what's your most like OCD thing you do on game day? Oh, OCD. That, that, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of OCD. Literally, my, our game days, my, I, I, I don't want to speak for Richard, but mine are like... You're speaking for me. Oh, yeah, I am, <laughs> I am. You guys do that a lot. Are literally like to the minutes, within like 15 minutes of like, okay, if I don't sleep this amount, I got to do this. Then I got to order my food at this time. It has to be here by this time. You know, so like everything we do on game day is so regimented that by the time we get to the game, I'm like, okay... I have to stop shooting no matter how I feel because I need to get into Normatec for 30 minutes. And then the I Norma need Tech, 15. Normatec is like an air bubble thing for your legs and to help flush out It's leg squeezy stuff. stuff. So. Oh. <laughs> Dog, you threw that like hey, you, you got it. Yeah, anyways. But like the most OCD thing I think would be like. Um, nap. That, the, nap everyone, everyone nap. the nap thing is crazy. The nap thing is crazy. Typically between oh. like 12 and 1 o'clock, you take a nap for because people laugh, like, even my friends laugh about it. Like, dude, you're a 36 year old. You take a nap. Like, what are you doing? And it's like, look, at the end of the day, oh, bad hands. We need to have the <laughs> most energy at 10 o'clock at night. Like, if at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> yeah. we're like, oh, I'm tired. I, I, I wish I, I'm ready to go to sleep. We can't. Like, that's when we need to be playing our best and have the most energy. So you typically take a nap from 10 or, or, or sometime after shooting around between like 12 and 3 o'clock. You so try and take a nap and then you get ready for a game. Oh yeah, but us like. Our emotional connection to anything around us during a game day oh, is, is comical. <laughs> it's comical. This is this, this is, is like, the honest truth. Do you want to hold your newborn baby? Nah, nah. I gotta take a nap. <laughs> gotta nah, take a nap. Honey. <laughs> it's the truth. Literally, nah. I saw an old lady, like true story, and I feel bad. And I don't believe I'm telling you guys <laughs> this. I saw an old lady pop a tire. She went off to the side. I was a little early for the game, and I looked at her, and I was like. Not today, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it just drove my truck right on by. Like, I'm not going to get caught up into that. Yeah. It went to the game. It didn't even bat an eye. Like, I was a, like, 
You could have be good. Get triple A on it, girl. Do you, you say? Know? Do you say a prayer? That's what you should have did. Say a Channing. prayer. You should have no, called triple A for her. I turned my music up. It was like, yo. <laughs> oh, geez, because look, if heartless. I get barbecue chicken, she not gonna hear about it. I'ma hear about it. <laughs> Channing, you suck on defense. I was in the game five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Part I was changing tires. I was changing <laughs> tires yeah. for a grandma. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now part of win part the game, Channing. Part of the oh, consistency man. that you do what is I do, so. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the consistency that you do is so that um, as athletes, as players, it's like if I do the same thing every day. Honestly, these chairs are the worst. Re Sorry. Re really? Like they look nice, but get more not. comfortable. Oh, God. Can hey, I, guys. No, guys. lumbar. What? Sorry. Grab your drinks. <clears throat> okay, your drinks. We, we probably Anyone else got drinks out here in the, the crowd? Uh, mine's <laughs> empty. We have reached that point. Guys, this was it's amazing. It's time to, yes, thank you all, of course. <sighs> thanks to Fresh Brood. Thanks to the Fox. Thanks to the Cavs. Uh, town Hall especially, but it's time now to lock in. Lock in. It is mean? playoffs. It's playoffs. And so oh, oh, we oh, will that. drop when we drop. We miss you guys. But the priority, of course, is the to, to defend the, the land. land. So with it. that, thank you all. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. For this edition of Road Tripping with RJ and Channing, we will see you next time. I'm your host, Kelly Kitchen.